Good morning, Baltimore. I support Franca for councilman. She deserves that seat. We're holding our public officials accountable 2020. We're talking about art and activism, act, being active in your community. Art and activism, being active in your community. I'm at Starbucks, and y'all know who I am. I'm Shorty. I'm at Starbucks in Charles Village. Poquito Negro, loco in the cabeza. Stop killing black people. You feel me? Stop killing black people. I'm a whistleblower, and this is a whistleblower's application. We talking about Baltimore, rewired, all right? I use my store to, for my activism, and I'm very well known. We talking about racism in America. If blacks and Hispanics join together, we can make a change. Blacks and Hispanics is filling your prison industry, and I told you the story. Sheila Dixon know all about it. You feel me? So she's not no quiet participant. These are your elected officials. And this is the request for the Department of Justice to investigate my kidnapping, because I was kidnapped by the state for making a movie about race and racism. I was kidnapped by the state for making a movie about race and racism. And our elected officials ain't doing nothing about it. They make too much money off of black bodies. That's why they're not going to open their white mouth. But this is the prison industry broken down since 2006. That's 2008. I'm a whistleblower. And it's all about Brandon Scott and the money he's going to make off of black bodies. He's participating in this. He's full participant in this. He's making a documentary, and that's the Shorty program. I had white people making this movie for me. I had white people standing up for me. You feel me? These are the laws that you broke. Lying to the grand jury. See that? Blagojevich. See that? Attorney Registry Disciplinary Committee. Fast forward to 2020. Blacks have no rights in America. Blacks and Hispanics have no rights. And that's the case right there. I was kidnapped from my family by the state because I was making a movie about y'all. That's us. That's my son. I got a vested interest in, the, in this. And that's Scott Schellenberger. Like I said, I was making a movie. And that's the controller. And it says, police department. And I filed my police report. <clears throat> that's me. This is my whistleblower's application. Good morning. All right. Speaker of the House Jones. And these are all the people that know about this movie. These are all the people that are part of this movie. I'm gonna show you hidden assets in America. Cause like I said, that's Governor O'Malley, that's my store. These are the supporters of Shorties, and that's Lake County, Illinois jail system. False imprisonment for filming a documentary about racism in the judicial system. Washington Post. Laws that tear black families apart. That's my ceasefire program. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower. President Trump got this. Right there. Judge Cox, Baltimore County, 2017. I broke down Governor O'Malley's prison industry and his crime machine. The whole thing is broken down. And WJZ is a part of it. Get the whole interview from WJZ. Because that's WBFS Fox. That's WJZ. That's the Baltimore Sun. And these are the political figures. I was making a movie about the prison industry. Yeah. A uh, documentary. I got jailhouse diaries. I got inmates. I got everything I need. I got everything I need. And that's Nick Mosby's wife. That's quite easy and Fume. I'm looking for a federal investigation. That's CBS News, Ed Norris. That's President Obama. That's President Trump. That's Kathleen Hughes from Radio One. I know 85% of the richest people in the state. I know the mayors. I know the governors. 
And if you go directly to the Department of Justice, they've been sitting on this for two years now. Schellenberg is the weakest link. Y'all made me famous for toilets. And I'm going to run with that. I'm going to run with that. So like I said, stop killing us. Y'all got the monster? Well, here go the beast. Governor O'Malley and Brown's machine. This is the beast.